Hi, I'm Jennifer with True Health For You, and today I wanted to share the process um, that I used to get rid of my anxiety for good. And I now offer this to clients who come to me and they're dealing with bad anxiety and depression. Um, I share with them what I did. So I used to suffer from anxiety between the ages of 12 to 30 years of age. And they were really, it was really bad. Like. A good day was just like one panic attack. And when I explained to you like a panic attack, like my heart was racing, you know, I my stomach was doing flip flops, I turned cold and um, I would shake. And they lasted probably like, I don't know, I can't remember now, but they, they lasted, I'd say like 10 minutes to where it would just stop me in my tracks. Um, that was a good day. Now a bad day from starting at age 12, it could, I could throw up, I could pass out. Um, I have fallen down flights of stairs before because my body just gave out when I was stressed. Um, I had a, a person in my family that caused me so much anxiety that just mentioning their name, I would break out in head to toe hives. I mean, everywhere, underneath my fingernails, in my mouth, on my eyelids, it was everywhere. Um, I missed months and months of school. Um, you know, there were times where my anxiety was so bad, I would be at school and I would be hiding um, underneath a desk during recess because I couldn't deal with what I was having to deal with. It was miserable. And as I got older, um, this type of chaos and this type of feeling and vibration that I've had in me led me to, I kept trying to find relief, but the relief that I was seeking was like the opposite of what I wanted to do. I would find bad toxic relationships. I would, I was heavily drinking, <laughs> um, anything to numb out. I was, I was a mess. And um, not to mention around that time as well, I was starving myself. I was a ballroom dancer. Um, I'm short, I'm short and stocky, I'm 5'1", they wanted to give me the illusion of being taller, so they said I had to keep losing weight. Well, I would run two hours a day, I wouldn't eat enough calories, I drank a gallon of water a day, I ate a buttload of like raw veggies, nuts and seeds, I was a vegan, and my body was a mess. So not only did I have past traumas that I hadn't dealt with, I also was on a nutritional point of view and a metabolic point of view, it was bad. <laughs> it was so, so, so bad. And um, th uh, there was a time in my life I had left um, an abusive uh, marriage and um, I found myself now living with uh, my sister and her family. And my daughter was three or four years old at the time. And I literally couldn't leave my bedroom. I was terrified to leave my room. Every once in a while, I would go out and see friends. But for the most part, I would actually hoard food and keep it in my room because I was so, I was afraid to just walk into the kitchen. If someone else was like cooking in the kitchen, I couldn't even handle that stress. It was a mess. <laughs> and so what I ended up doing through learning how to deal with my traumas, talking to people, um, doing meditations, um, doing something like running my bars, uh, learning access consciousness. That did come till later, but that definitely did help. And I'm going to talk about it in a little bit. Um, you know, uh, doing types of like energy cleansing and healing and all that stuff. And you might scoff at that, but it really did make a difference. But the biggest difference was that I was ready. I didn't actually start making the changes I needed to change until I was ready. I was fed up. I was done listening to the lies that I was constantly telling myself. Um, that I was worthless, that I didn't amount to anything, that I had no value, that I was just, you know, a mess, you know, uh, wasn't going to amount to anything. I finally reached a point in my life where I was done listening to that, that I wanted more and I, but I didn't know how to get past it. Well, fortunately, I came in the contact of the work of Dr. Ray Pete, and he he also talks about other people's work, other scientists, other people who study hormones and, and different things like that. They actually gave me a realistic and real truth 
um, truthful point of view when it comes to our bodies. Yes, we're all different. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Yes. But our bodies function the same way. We still need sugar. Our body takes that sugar and uses it to create energy. We need certain minerals. We need certain vitamins. There was a foundation that I was missing and most of the people that I work with are missing as well. So it's really important that you step away from whatever fad is going on talking about nutrition and, and fitness. You need to look at what does the human body really need? What does the brain really need? And what it needs is sugar and what it needs is good fats. Now, I, ha I was a raw vegan at the time. I had to change. Um, I slowly started incorporating dairy and meat and it wasn't always pretty because I was so inflamed with cortisol and um, endotoxin and stuff like that and I was severely lactose intolerant all, all of my life, I had to learn why I was lactose intolerant. Don't think it's just because your body can't handle dairy because dairy isn't good for you. That's a bunch of baloney. It's because your gut is so riddled with cortisol and so inflamed, you're not producing the enzyme that it takes. And even though I was born not being able to handle dairy products, I eventually learned how to repair my gut. And now I can drink dairy all day long. And that is actually one of the biggest contributors that changed my thyroid health and got me healthy and to lose uh, or stop the anxiety and depression. So it takes looking at life in a different perspective. You know, if you've tried a bunch of things and it's not working, this is your call, this is your time to try something different. Stop doing the same thing, it's not gonna work. And there is, you know, a lot of, um, well, never mind. I'm not, I was gonna start, gonna go down a rabbit hole and I'm not doing, I'm not gonna do that. But I had to change the way I was eating. I slowly started incorporating more fruit and good quality orange juice. Um, I started eating things like um, beef liver and broth and it was difficult at times. I didn't like liver, um, but I wanted to get healthy. And so I did things and learned how to prepare and cook things to make it enjoyable. Don't think you have to eat a big pile of steaming plain liver. You can actually make it really delicious to where it's like in a liver pate and you have that over sourdough toast or crackers and you only need to eat like an ounce a day. And this gave me so much nutrition so many vitamin Bs and copper and zinc and vitamin A, all very crucial and vital for creating youthful protective steroids like progesterone and DHEA and testosterone and all of the hormones that are low when you are dealing with depression and anxiety. I also started getting more sunlight in, started getting more movement in, doing exercises that um, specifically stimulate the mind you know, I had to learn how to play again and have fun and actually tap into a deeper side of me that I had never experienced. Um, you know, I didn't know what it was like to be happy. I didn't even really know who I was. So learning how to just sit in the mornings for five minutes, closing my eyes and shutting out the world and really feeling and connecting with who I really was is what turned my life around and I got rid of the anxiety and the depression. I asked for help. I started eating differently. I did it. I started um, introducing healthy habits like not training so hard five to six, seven days a week for hours on end. I stopped the cardio. I had to just slow down and start doing gentle things for my body. Start repairing, repairing from the inside out. It is okay for you to say, no, I am not gonna push my body. When you're dealing with anxiety and depression, that is a huge sign that you have pushed and pushed and pushed your brain and your body so far, it can't handle anymore. So if you're dealing with this, this is the time to do something new, acknowledge those past traumas of the things that you've been running away from. Acknowledge them, get help, start eating differently, moving, even if it's just taking a walk. You don't have to go to the gym. You know, you can do home workouts. If going outside is a challenge and difficult for you, just say, you know what, today I'm just gonna do five push-ups. And there were days where I could only tolerate maybe one push-up. It's okay. The point is that you're moving forward and you're, mo and you're doing, um, you're taking progressive steps. But 
you have to be aware of who you are or who you want to be. If you really don't know who you are and you can't connect to that, I want you to think of somebody in this world that you're like, I love their life. I love their philosophy. I love their passion. I love the way they live. I want you to like look at them, you know, stalk them in a very non-creepy stalking way and really start to embrace their habits. And if you know this person, ask for help and say, okay, how did you get here? You know, because we all have to practice having the life that we want. Every day it takes not thinking the same negative thing that you did yesterday. It's about taking a new, you know, taking that new step and taking a new perspective. So if you have an idea or you want to create the type of life that you want, anxiety free, depression free, I encourage you to reach out to me. Um, I do 60 minute free consultations and let me dive deeper and tell you exactly what I did to change my hormones, to help my health, um, the different practices I did that completely um, went away or did away with my anxiety and depression. It wasn't until I was 32, I realized that for two years, I wasn't having panic attacks anymore. I was just so busy creating and evolving that I was like, oh my God, I haven't had a panic attack in like forever. This is what I want for you. So please, please, please reach out to a friend, reach out to me and start changing your life. Okay, thank you so much for listening. And please like and share this video. This message needs to get out. There's too much depression and anxiety in this world and it doesn't have to be like this. So share this video. Please click the bell icon so you know when another video of mine pops up. Thanks for listening. Bye.